Hey everyone, Dark Paul here, and welcome back to Game Destroyers TV. So, we're back. Uh, I did have some issues. I did discover I had an overheating issue on my CPU. I purchased a water cooling system to replace the old fan system, and uh, installed it, and was rewarded with a red CPU light of doom. So I had to wait a little bit and get a new CPU. That is why I've not had any videos live Another while. Now, you see our task manager over here. Uh, we're getting ready to start up Planet Nomads because they just went to their 0 0.5.0 upgrade today. I've been waiting on it to happen so I could actually get an accurate test on how well it's running in comparison to how it was running before. As you can see, we're using 23% of the CPU. Uh, OBS is using 13.14, between 13 and 14% of the CPU, so that's not bad. Uh, and Audacity is only using 1%. So, without any waiting, let us start up Planet Nomads. And that should appear there. There we go, it's using 25, 33, 39, 40%. So, we're not actually too bad. Of course, since I've started this now, OBS is using a little more, so we're pushing up a little, but we're still, we're not bouncing off 100% CPU usage like we did before, which is a good sign. So let's switch over to this, and I'm going to get rid of the task manager. Like so. So, we're actually looking pretty good, 67% to 80% usage. Now, I am looking to see, um, Windows is going to be updating soon, and there's meant to be a game capture and whatnot built into it, so I'm going to have to check that out when that happens. But for now, let us create a new seed. Now, we've got to create a new seed because they've reduced the planet size from 64 kilometer uh, diameter to 32 kilometer diameter to test this out. Uh, this time round, uh, it's also going to lead them into when they're doing multiple planets, being able to do different sized ones. So we're getting to check this out now. Uh, we're going to use our seed from last time. This is Alpha. This is Alpha, and we're going to get going now. My graphic settings, I've already went in and made sure they're okay. Uh, I've stuck with the low for this. Uh, I was doing a little bit of testing and whatnot, and things were bouncing about a little. But what I did notice was, look how fast the world generates now. In no time flat we have the objects generated, the world generated. And when it's doing the object generating, it does use a lot of the CPU up. But, it should actually, there we go. Look at this, they updated the survival pole and it's actually we're coming down into the planet now. It's so smooth in here. Okay, we're still... We're down. So let us escape from the pod. Uh, the terrain generation is a little different from what we originally had, but... I've got these creatures over here, which I'm going to try and stay away from. I don't want them to come after me right now. But this is running a lot better than what it was. That is for definite. It is running really smooth. And of course, we've got calls coming in. Now, but you can see my CPU usage is not really spiking like it was before. Yeah, it's sitting at quite high, but in comparison to where it was before, uh, the game is running a lot smoother. A lot, lot smoother. Yeah, when you move a little bit away and it has to load in another chunk of the train, you do get the odd little stutter. But it's definitely a definite improvement over what it was. 
Now we also have F1 tutorial. Oh yeah, that's this here, so that's fine. Uh, now one of the other changes they added in is we have the ability to build vehicles again. We are going to be able to build vehicles, which is awesome. Uh, first of all though, we need to start getting things built because, come on, there we go. We need a, a ground structure. I'm just going to build here, I think, like so. Switch to the tool, weld it up. We'll get our basic resources built. That's a lot smoother though than what it was before. Now we get the bio generator built. Oh, it's snapping actually seems to be a lot more efficient. Yeah, I'll put that there. This is going to be a little basic outpost at the moment until I can start really gathering up resources and things. Okay, you can stop that now. And we want build medium 3D printer. And I'm going to build that there. And that will let us. Now, be able to connect so there we go it has power on there we go so it's powered now I always turn that off and on just to make sure Build wise, our next thing we want to build is a compact fan machine. Now, one of the things you'll notice, I actually have a marker point for my life pod, which is going to make things so much easier because I'm going to be able to find my way back. It's like, yes, I'm not going to get lost anymore. Which is a, a glorious thing, not enough resources. Okay, we need to get some resources going here. So, which means we're going to have to start mining. I also want to find some food. And, shoot, yeah, I did see a bush over here. So I'm going to gather some food from this. There is a little bit of stutter. As I say, I have the graphics option set to low. And it's running, it is running a hundred times better than what it did before though so that is something I am really glad about that they've optimized it a lot I think it needs a little bit more work but then again it could be because I'm recording at the same time I'm not getting the, the monstrous continuous 100% usage on my CPU anymore, which is great. Also, of course, having added in the water cooling to my system has made a big difference as well. <laughs> okay, so let's gather you up as well. And that's four bushes worth of stuff, and we'll harvest out these rocks because uh, some of these give actual resources some of them don't, some of them do this one's going to give me stuff so we will oh, I need to let my miner reload so we're going to have to find a, an area to start mining here soon as you can see, when you delete an object, sometimes you get a, a little bit of a lag spike, but the game is running, I've got to say, definitely a hundred times better. When I'm not recording, I, I play in uh, medium, and uh, it runs smoothly, so... 
definitely my recording software combined with what Planet Nomad uses is causing the the slight stuttering issues which I can live with to be honest I'm just trying to gather up a bunch of resources here so we can get our food processing machine going we need it that'll do we'll head back over to our little base here now if you build beacons and whatnot now they also appear on the the HUD at the top on the compass so you can actually find your way back and forth so we need to make one electronic part and two mechanical parts and why is this not getting any power that is on there we go now it's got power uh, so I say one electronic part craft that but look at that these so much smoother I'm just able to click 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 and be done it's just a dream come true to be able to produce all this you know be able to play like this and be able just to make the parts I need easily it's going to allow for a lot more immersive gameplay I'm going to be able to do a lot more as we go along it's going to be interesting to see what the general release next week as well brings to the game so Okay, so we can make all sorts of stuff. Look at this, there's dried fruitage now, which is nice. There's dried meat, there's superfood, and then there's bio paste. Oh, bio, that's cool. So I can literally take, you cut down, use for the, the bio canisters from the fuel, the, the trees now. Excellent. That I like to know about. So we can make three. I'm going to make four of those. And I'm going to make four of those. And now I need to go gather, oh no I can't because I've got to wait here, I don't know, no I think it's going to work. I need to gather water. There we go. Sometimes it does not like coming off of the electricity. Oh. Okay, I was actually, got, <laughs> I was doing that the wrong way. It doesn't like coming off the electricity sometimes. And you end up with uh I had to describe it stuck with the power connection thing. It won't bring up a tool or whatnot. Well that's just a minor issue. It's I need to remember and actually say about that on the the forums. Yeah, the, our CPU usage is way down. Yeah, 75, yeah, it bounces up every so often, but I can live with live with that very easily and look at this I can already gather more of that oh, I landed a little hard there and we can now make let's see now Five water, I think. Yeah, we'll make five water. We've got another two fruits, so let's make another. No, I don't have enough to make two. I 
to make another water and make another one of those now oh, I need more storage to be able to do that <laughs> in the queue or an upgraded version anyway to make that but we now have food source we're gonna have water oh yeah things are definitely looking up on surviving better surviving easier to start with this definitely is going to be fun of course it's got dark now so what I'm going to do is consume that drink that takes me to a hundred percent on both which is well sustained and we'll get in and sleep for eight hours now we're still as the times progress we're still getting this lag here but once again it's not it's not the end of the world in fact look at our CPU usage is dropping right down now wow okay there we get critter and what else can we build now uh, we can build the compact armory the compact containers that's probably gonna be my next goal is to get some containers going uh, probably do that in the next video we'll start getting built up so we can get towards having a vehicle and whatnot going and so we can start, actually start doing some major exploring I'm gonna have to decide on where we're gonna mine in here probably near the pod I'm thinking let me cut straight back in through from here, go that way underneath and see what we can find because it looks like there's a mineral deposit right there to start with and usually if you start expanding out from there you'll find more well I hope this video has been great for you guys I really enjoyed making it, it's been so long since I made a video I'll have a lot more content coming towards you over the next few days I have a bunch of games waiting for me to do reviews of, I have farming simulator to record, I'm going to be busy. So bear with me while I get back on track and till next time everyone, stay safe. <laughs>